Everybody, hello. Hi, foreign sick uh, traveler. Hola. Gwyneth, hi, Eunice. All my Gen S babies, hello. Silent fan and tall to one to hi. Yeah, I'm just waiting. Uh, hold on. Thank you for joining me, ma. Baby Gun, I am in my hotel room and right now it's 1.31 in the morning here. I miss you to be I miss Kanamin si Jeffrey, I don't know. Hello. Oi. How are you? Ma-ariwan ako si Kiko. 
kasi it's loosely based on his life. So, kasi pamilyante siya, alam ng mga tao, yung lalo he would talk about his mom, mga kanyang gross and things, right? So, anyway, so one of the two uh, female lead roles was the role of his mom and the role of his mom's sister, yung tita niya, who was actually the one who's very supportive of Joe Coy becoming a comedian and pursuing a comedy career, a career in comedy. And very close to the ones who did the tennis and that. And then, yari po, I'll say it now, it's just that, I'm a sex fiction and I'm a sex fiction. Yung kinikwento ni Nana and Christy na isang dokumento, ganito yun. Dapat umalis ako ng making team to fly to LA and the very next day, fly to Canada kung saan ang shooting. Eh sa Canada, may two-week quarantine. At ang umpisa ng shooting namin ay dapat may three, I think, or something. Now, in Hollywood, it's very different because napaka-efficient ng kanilang uh, pagtrabaho na nakaschedule na yung buong shooting. Uh, the whole, every single day of the filming was scheduled. And I, of course, permits for locations were already um, gotten and confirmed. And uh, because Joe Coy has to stick to the side schedule, since he's going to have a very long and very big tour, uh, kung baga sa concert tour, siya yung kanyang stand-up comedy act, ito tour niya. So, kailangan matapos yung movie at time, which was supposed to be at the tour. Okay, ang nangyari po sa akin is, they uh, swap me, dapat kasi kung sasakay ka ng aeroplano for leaving the Philippines. And I could leave because um, I am a U.S. immigrant. I'm a legal resident here. Um, si Kiko never yan magiging residenta na kahit ibang bansa, kahit anong bansa, dahil kahit nung nasa Boston kami at nabuntis ako nung gusto niya ang huwi ako pa nung mag-alala. <laughs> Pero nakakaisipin kami ng asawa ko. Yung asawa ko support, if yan kahit nasa amin ni Kiano support. <laughs> Pero hindi ko naman ako titi na dito. Marami akong pinanwag ko ano sa inyo. Ito lang. Um, so, what happened was, before you get on a flight, of course, you have to get a PR test, a COVID test, about what is it like at least three days before your flight. So, I was flying out May 18. On May 16, I got swabbed by one laboratory that I cannot find it in my heart to forgive. Sorry, I won't mention it. Because on May 17, I was leaving on the 18th, remember. On May 17, I was waiting for my results and I had a Zoom meeting with our, uh, or was it, travel coordinator. You see, these big productions have travel coordinator. They have a lahat of coordinators and for everything. So everything, I, you know, Eugene, one of the actors in Joe Boy's movie was also in that Zoom. Our travel coordinator was in that Zoom meeting. My assistant, Benny, was in that Zoom meeting. Peachy was in that Zoom meeting because Peachy was coming to be my assistant. Uh, then, hindi magsama niya marami because of COVID restrictions, especially in Canada. So, anyway, um, she was telling us, you know, you get your working packets, you have them already. So, and then when you land in LA, uh, this person will, will meet you and then you're just gonna walk from the airport to spend the night in this hotel that's connected and and then the next morning this is the map of the Vancouver airport it was so detailed it was so wonderful she was a wonderful lady and she was zooming in with it, with us from Canada so I was so happy and I told you Eugene, Eugene I am so excited to meet you in person and to work with you because you're really you're really funny as it was the first time I met him. And he plays Joe Coy's cousin in the movie. Anyway, to make a long story short, natapos yung meeting, I was so happy, nakapak na kami, rest to leave the next day, and I was gonna announce to you the very next day and say uh, something like, well, Hollywood, uh, but whatever, you know, uh, I'm finally going to meet you or something, and surprise, all of you, my Sharonians. And uh, what happened was, wala pang five minutes after the Zoom meeting, my assistant called me to say, Ma'am, hindi ko 
po kayo makakalas po. Kasi I said one, uh, positive po yung COVID test. No? So, nag-panic ako. I said, what? Positive po. So, natural, nasabi dun sa, sa, nasabi ko agad sa manager ko. So, it was a big problem because everyone was ready. Or we call it a day, call it a four day. I mean, so, naturally, it was heart-wrenching and heartbreaking for me. I, I literally nalampot ako na parang ako natulaw. Ito yung masakit. After this test by that lab, which I still cannot forgive, I immediately scheduled three different labs to come and test me again. After that, the next day, another different lab. So, pang-apat na. Later on, for ABS, we had swabs. And it was a total of seven tests after that first supposedly positive test. All the seven different labs tested me negative. So, hindi ba naman heartbreaking yun? That's why I was depressed. At dahil di ko pa nakwento sa inyo yung bakit ako masaya, tapos bakit hindi ako nalungkot, walang may alam. So, it was, parang feeling ko, it was false positive and seven, seven different reputable, trusted labs tested me negative. And I, I think, wala, wala ko sakit eh. Wala ko sakit. That same lab na test sa akin ng positive, kinest ng positive, yung masayist ako na natakot din siya Although she's not so young anymore, she's been with me since 19, hindi ko pa sa ako si Kiko, 94. Tapos pinatest ko siya ulit, negative. Kasi, magkasama kami dun sa, parang po yung nag-quarantine na lang kami, just to be sure, because my kids have um, morbid, uh, what do you call it? Comorbid. 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 Yes. So, my three kids have asthma. And pag, pag ikaw ay nagkaroon ng COVID at ikaw ay may asthma, ang asthma ay problema sa pagkita, di ba? It's something that can really, it's one of those diseases that can actually accelerate your, like, like can be fatal, accelerate your, your being sick and all that. So, that's why my kids got vaccinated with their dad. Well, Frankie, because she's 21. I'm 21, she's 21. Um, now, it took me ganito kasi ako pag medyo ng problema, which my husband of 25 years knows very well already about me. Parang pag may namatay, I shut down. When my mother died, wala akong pag-alam kahit ang sabihin ng tao, pero hindi ako nagpupunta araw-araw ng maaga sa burol niya. Because I asked my husband if I could stay at my condo, yung dati kong condo na pang alone, alone time ko sa Twin Towers pa, na sabi ko, I want to mourn uh, my mom my way. And in the condo, I was with my yaya, and I would talk to my mom and cry and pray and, you know, mourn her in my own way. Ayoko yung parang, uh, it wasn't the time for me, ha? alam ko medyo, it was so, it was a bit ill-mannered and unethical. And it was, I'm sure my mom was turning in her <laughs> Siguro gusto niya ako sakalin kasi sabi niya siguro ko ay bastos ka. May mga bisitang tumandalaw sa akin yung siguro. Sinasalong ko ang iniwan mo sa mga kapatid ko, mga tita mo. But that was how I was. And my mom, I'm sure, knew that. So he could let me more the way I wanted to more. And then, um, I would go to the buro late na. Yung gusto kasi masolo mami ko. So ayaw ko siya nakikita doon. Okay ka. So hindi ko man napasalamatan lahat ng nagbigay ng respeto kay mami. Iyam-iyaman ako, I really wasn't the time for me na ayaw kong ma-acting na ayaw kong mas importante sa lagi na lang kasi inuuna ko yung tao kahit nung namatay si daddy at buntis ako kay Frankie. Parang you had to do your duties as a daughter na namataya na pinakamamahal na magulang. When it came to my mom, total or orphan na ako. So I, I didn't want to Hindi ko, no, I don't want that. But I, I just want to mourn the way I want to mourn. I don't care what they want to say. Uh, and so that's that's how I am. So when I am depressed over something, 
or nawala na ako ng kaibigan or, or nawala na ako ng napakalaking oportunidad na hindi na maibabalik sa akin. Kahit gusto nila Joko, nila Joko at ng director ko na nanumpagin ako, wala sila ang choice kung dito na yung movie. So my role as Tita Teresa went to Tia Carrere. Um, she played the sister of uh, the Ate of Lilo and Lilo the Stitch in Bosses. Now she was also in Wayne's World for all of you uh, Gen Xers like us. No? Um, she's half Filipino, so she got my role. She already had a role in the movie, so when I couldn't make it, she got the, the other name to her. And I'm glad she did. But, um, it broke my heart. It really did. Because it was such an honor to be in the very first all Filipino production in Hollywood, back by the producer as big as Steven Spielberg. And up to now, when I think about it, yeah, I mentioned that it's going to happen. Uh, it's not for me, I feel that we have a lot of the Philippines that are like, you know, with, in the middle of all this Asian hate going on in America and some parts of the world. We were so proud that there was a... Mr. Spielberg was backing this movie of Philippines. And it breaks my heart because I love Joe Boy. And I'll later I'll post um